Hello everybody, Mark from Burton Bibles here, here with another uh, quick uh, overview video. want to look at these um, Cambridge Clarion reference editions uh, today. We had these three delivered uh, the other day. Uh, this one we've had a look at before, this is the King James uh, version and this one in particular was bound in the, the split calf skin, uh, calf split leather as it says there. Um, we've had a look at that one already and appreciated uh, something of its nice, clear, single column um, paragraph style uh, format. But today I want to focus our attention um, upon these new uh, new translations that we've got. Um, let's have a look at the New King James Version. These all three are bound in brown uh, calfskin. And I think you'll agree when you have a look at this that they really do look quite uh, quite nice. Um, this one with the calfskin has the art gilt um, edging which is really really nice. You can see the uh, the flip and the change in colors and that's that sort of salmony color under the uh, under the gold. It really is very nice. Uh, the brown Bibles as well come with uh, brown ribbons. These are actually quite nice ribbons, wider ribbons than you usually sort of get. And this is the New King James version which I found to be um, quite nice. Uh, the great uh, thing about it is that it's only a mild sort of revision of the uh, of the King James. Um, it does tell you in the columns here what is omitted from uh, which manuscripts, um, and at the beginning of the uh, of the translation note, it will tell you and give you a key to what all those letters mean. For example, there special abbreviations, Dead Sea Scrolls, the different um, texts that were used in the translation, and it will tell you. Uh, in this preface um, what texts were used and what these notes all mean so in the uh, in the New Testament you'll have things like like this uh, so that N U omits blessed are you among women and, and things like that it just gives you a bit more um, from the translation side of things but as with uh, all the clarions they are beautiful Bibles this is my go-to Bible for reading uh, it's a great Bible to read um, you've got a single column format which I, I don't like for studying and I don't like for preaching uh, but for reading for sitting down um, getting there on the sofa and reading um, some doing some serious reading this is a fantastic format the Bible's printed on India paper um, and but I like this paper it's pretty opaque considering it is uh, thinner um, and it, you've got some cross references as well in those uh, side columns but this is just such a nice, clear Bible to read. Um, and that is the New King James Version. Um, the New American Standard Version is pretty much uh, identical, obviously. It's got a slightly different grain um, to it. Uh, there will be variation between the grains in this uh, calf calfskin leather. So it's still calfskin leather, it's still got the art gilt, it's just a different translation. So obviously the pagination um, and layout will be different, the page count will be different because obviously different translations um, have different amounts of, uh, of words in them. So uh, that is the New American Standard uh, Bible. Um, in each of these you will get a concordance in the back which is nice um, and you'll also get the 15 Cambridge style maps. Um, which is great as well. So that's the uh, New American Standard. And then finally we've got the ESV translation here. Um, again, uh, exactly the same brown uh, calfskin uh, leather. Uh, this one, uh, again, you'll see subtle differences in the grain uh, of these Bibles, um, but the ESV is there for you if you like reading that. And uh, my uh, I know a lot of people who like this translation here in the UK. It's very nice to read. It's it's a very smooth, if you like, translation. Um, reads very well. Has a flow to it. Um, so that is the Clarion in the ESV. This calfskin um, cover is really superb. It doesn't carry the expense of the goatskin um, covers. And it is uh, it is noticeably more supple and flexible flexible than the the calf split um, leather. So I really do like this um, this brown uh, calf skin. It's uh, if you like browns, and I, I tend to quite like brown as, as a colour. Brown leathers are are very nice. Um, it's a little bit different from the usual black leather Bible, 
um, and I certainly do like this it's very very flexible um, and very it's got a softer smoother touch than the the calf split so um, definitely worth looking at it's not much more than uh, the the calf split in all honesty I think there's about 20 pounds uh, 25 pounds difference between the calf split and the uh, and the calf skin so if you ask me for the for the art gilt edging and the uh, the lovely brown uh, flexible leather that you've got here I think it's it's worth it's worth going for in all honesty there is a goatskin version of the clarion it's 160 pounds which is a an uplift of about 40 pounds over the calf skin um, so you might want to think about that you do get an edge lined uh, Bible um, which you may well be keen on so it's just something to bear in mind really um, the variations in the binding there so there are those three brown calfskin clarions um, really nice reading Bible fantastic check it out on burnbibles.com don't forget to give us a like um, for this video and subscribe and we'll see you again shortly thanks <laughs>